Good morning, welcome to Fairy and Spoil. Today's video is how to stop your dogs being scared of fireworks part two. I will put part one in the description and I will put it at the end of this video. So um, when I left you last time, it was in July, and my aim was to be able to do the big popping paper, to do one of them a day because it was actually quite scary in Albert, my other dog. But you will see in a minute, I'm going to show you the progress that I made with the popping paper. I really believe the popping paper is going to work. Now, whether it will completely work or not, I don't know. But it's certainly going to take the edge off it. I have no question about that. Because when I first started doing the, the, the popping paper, they were jumping and running off. Um, and now you'll see in a minute when I show you, they're just standing there, just getting on with it. Now, something that has changed massively since July is that we've got a new dog. So we just rescued Hunts a few weeks ago. So he's a complete, completely new and he's from Korea. So I had no idea how he was going to be with fireworks. Um, but so we had to back up a bit with the training. So I backed up a bit. So that slowed us down a bit. But now we're we're up to where we need to be. So today it's the 23rd of October and fireworks season goes on here for about two weeks. It starts at Halloween to the 31st of October and goes on to, to about the 10th, 11th, something like that of November. So we have about two weeks. So it's a, it's a, it's a long time. So um, I'm going to show you now um, me doing the popping paper and you'll see the progress that has been made. Right, so have your treats ready. So you just want the tiny, tiny little treats. So you need a treat that will bend up and break up really, really easily. I just use Sizzlers and it smells really good. So it's a really high reward treat, but not too fattening. And then what I'm doing differently now is, so with the smaller popping paper, I've just got a piece about that big. And what I do is I just make it into a sausage shape. And then before what I was doing was I was doing it like that and it wasn't very effective and it was really hurting my hands. Now remember what I said about the camera here isn't picking up how loud this popping paper is. It's much, it sounds much better in real life, much louder and much more like fireworks. So and what I'm doing now is I've got the sausage and I'm just doing that with it. And if I stop talking, you can hear how well that sounds like fireworks. I don't know how well that's picking it up, but it really sounds like fireworks. And then I just reward all the boys. So good boy. Good boy. And good boy. Just reward them. Now this one doesn't really have much of an effect on them. They're really not that bothered about it. And so what you need to do is come down to their level and do it right by their faces. You hear that? And then let them sniff it. They're not even interested. They're just like, yeah, whatever. Now, I don't know if you can see Humps, but he's just backed off, which is a good thing because it means that he can learn. But I want to reward him first. So he gets rewarded first because he backed off. Whereas the others really aren't all that bothered. I'm going to come down again. I'm just going to do it right by Harry. Sound bothers them a little bit, but that's good because it means you can work with it. It also means that it sounds similar to fireworks. And so I just keep turning it right in their faces and they're really not that bothered. Whereas when I was first doing that, when I started doing it, they were all bothered. So give everybody a treat and make sure they can see what made the noise, because remember, that's the whole principle of it. Now, onto the big one. Now, like I said before, Harry and Albert have been working on this for a while now, but Hubs is new to it. He still does jump now and again, so when he jumps, he's the first one that gets rewarded. And before, I was, remember, I was saying in the video, the aim was to do one of these a day, and that's all I could manage. Whereas now, let me show you how much progress we've made. Oh, that was rubbish. Yay! Yay! Ooh. Ooh, that was rubbish. Look. And then show them it. It's really important to show it to them. So they're just like, oh, that's what made that noise. Never sniff. And then hopefully on bonfire night. And then reward. Good boy. Very good boy. Very good boy. And then on bonfire night, what you want is for them to be thinking, oh, that's just that noise that we have, you know, in the kitchen. So I'm going to do it again. 
I'm gonna come a little bit closer to Humps now, but because he is still a bit worried, I'm only gonna do one, just a little bit closer to Humps. You see he's backed off there, but he's looking, so I'm gonna do one. You ready, Humps? Yay! He stayed, he didn't run away, so straight away reward that, so he associates the two. So they're on bonfire night, they hear the noises, but their brain goes to food. And you know dogs, everything's through the nose, so um, it will remind them of the smell. So I've got three left now, so I'm going to do them one after the other. And I know that this will be a little bit, um, for humps, this will be a little bit hard. So straight away he'll get the reward if he doesn't run away. You ready boys? Warn them for it, ready? Yay, ready, yay! Woo! Ready? Because Humps was the one that was the most bothered, straight away give him a treat. His tail's wagging, it's a good experience. And then reward all of the dogs. If so, Humps was a little bit worried then. So, because he was a bit worried, I didn't go too close to him with it. I just stayed back a bit, but at his level. When you start doing this, stand up and do it above them. And then, as you get more further into it, you can and you must kneel down and do it amongst them um, and let them smell it and then, then they'll just know what it is. So that's how I'm doing my popping paper. Right, so you'll see there, definitely have made progress since July, so I'm really pleased with it um, and I've got high hopes. So I'm really, really pleased with it. If you're doing it and you've been doing it since July when I put up that first video, can you please let me know how you're getting on? Or just your stories all together regarding um, firework night. I'd be really interested to hear them. So um, what I'm going to do is there will be a part three to this video and I'm going to record. So like I said, fireworks here, it goes on for two weeks. It's absolutely ridiculous. It goes on for two weeks. It's really loud every night for two weeks. It's really heavy on the dogs. Now, we did consider taking them away from it. But the reason we decided not to do that is because you still have to deal with um, New Year's Eve and sometimes fireworks just go off randomly. And so I thought it's better to put all the work in and try and get them over the fear of it. So I'm going to record. Um, there will be two videos and um, my regular slot of Thursdays, there'll be. Um, and you'll see me preparing myself and the house for it. You'll see how it goes. I'll, I will almost be vlogging, really, just recording how it's going, different things that I'm doing, like extra walks and just all the, all the stuff that I'm doing to prepare for it. Um, and I'll just record how it's going, the good and the bad. I don't know. It might not go well. It could go really bad. I don't know. But um, I will record as I'm going. Something that I do have to deal with is Harry here. He absolutely loves barking. I mean, he, 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 loves, he loves, loves barking. And so he will bark at them for fun. And so I have to make sure that I know whether he's barking out of fear or out of fun. Um, and make sure that he doesn't start off the other two dogs and there's all of that to contend with as well so I do have a little bit more of a complicated situation because he you know he can sometimes just act like it's great fun and I've got to work out which way it's going and, and how to deal with that so I'll record it all as I'm going you'll get it as it's actually happening whether it worked or not I don't know you know I don't know if this popping paper thing is going to work but it makes so much sense to me so I don't know maybe it will work maybe it won't work I hope if you've been doing it that it really works for you I really hope you do because firework night can be a terrible time for dogs so I'll see you um so this video is going up today on the 23rd of October and then what I'll probably do is probably won't be this Thursday no, not this Thursday, next Thursday, I'll put the video up of how the week is going and then that will that will give you some advice and stuff before the actual 5th of November because you might only have to deal with the 5th of November. You might be quite lucky on that, on that count. But anyway, so that's it all. So as always, questions, comments, anything, pop them into, um, into the comments. I'm on um, Instagram and Twitter, furry and spoil, you know, any questions at all, um, and hashtag furry and spoil. So thank you very much. <laughs> Thank you very much for watching. I hope you and your dogs will have a lovely calm week um, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye bye.